everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you another Monday's Minutes. I know I forgot a couple of weeks, but look, I was super, super busy and I was traveling, so I was out helping Tom Stallings with the big project to get his show going. Then I had to go over to University Town Center in Sarasota, Florida to uh, help get a big show there going. And then I get back, I'm all jet lagged, and I'm thinking, I better catch up on some projects, I better get some sequencing done, I better get some Monday Minutes out to the people that need these the most. And I'm hoping that might just be you. And before we get started, smash that thumbs up, you know what I'm going to say, consider subscribing to the channel, don't even consider it, just do it, just do it. It helps the algorithms, and then eventually I'll be able to pay for my coffee addiction, which is being uh, sponsored today for this video. All right, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Look, I'm still jet lagged, so let's get into this. Uh, I was on a big project, and I wish I had used this on this project I was at. Uh, <laughs> and what I mean by that is, imagine hundreds of thousands of lights, imagine uh, 40,000 people, imagine a high wire act, imagine a light show and intros, all sorts of things at this big event. And that morning, we have a discussion about some things that we need to pay attention to, like audio. And when I found out that uh, they said, hey, uh, is all of the audio normalized? I said, absolutely, I have normalized it. But I did it using a software called MP3 Normalizer on the Mac. On the PC, I would have used MP3 Gain or MP3 4 Gain and that normalizes it, but you have to go through a process. You have to pick the music and you set it up to tell it what you want it to be. Typically, we're just trying to flatten out between the highs and the lows so that we get a nice balance. And one of the things that happens to all of our light shows every year, you put on this one song and it sounds great. Next thing you know, you go to something else and you're like, I can't hear it. I can't hear the music. So you, you run up to the speaker and you turn it up or your mixer or maybe you're in Falcon Pie Player like I am here and, and you bump it up a little bit. The next song comes on and like people are like screaming. It's like, that's loud. It's loud. And you've got to go turn it back down. Shouldn't have to do that. So for years, we've always recommended using these softwares that you can get that are uh, pretty much free. Some of them are very cheap. Um, the challenge is... It's one of these things we forget to do, and we put new sequences in, and we have to use the software, and then you would simply just replace it. So if, if I'm in, I'm going to show you this. This is interesting. I'm going to show you some old school. And this, this reminded me earlier today on a post somebody was asking about this, and I was like, oh, you can use MP3 gain or normalizer, and someone said, oh, but it's already built in. Now, yes, it's built in, and I'll get to this in a second, but... Um, you can actually uh, normalize this and then just go to your audio file right here and drop the normalized music in there. As long as the names are the same, all you have to do is drop it. It'll rewrite it. x Lights, or I should say Falcon Pie Player, will pick up the audio as it was in your show list, your playlist, and play the sequence from the FSEQ and know which MP3 to marry up to it. But there's an easier way. It's a much easier way. Now, uh, I think you should test this in your show to make sure it's doing the job, but it looks like it will do this just fine. And it's as simple as going to your content setup, clicking on File Manager, selecting the Audio option, and you'll see all of your audio files. It could be MP3s, could be .mp4s, it could be a .wave. Yes, a .mp4, which is a video, could be the music that you're using for your x Lite sequence. It could be the music and video for your x Lite sequence. So that works just the same as far as pulling audio. Uh, one of the things I would love to see, and I don't know how possible this is, it probably isn't, would be a, a great way to see like a little gain dial or something to the right where it's analyzing uh, the music and shows you if you've got highs and lows or, you know, parts that may clip, but it doesn't matter. Right now, all you have to do, if you need to normalize your music, select all of your music, select them all. Click on this MP3 gain button right down here. This is something Dan put in. 
in Falcon Pie Player, I want to say uh, in 7.0 or 7.1 or maybe 7.2, I don't know, but I remember going around trying to figure out where do you turn this thing on? And this was several, uh, this was a little while back, I would say a month and a half, two months ago, whenever it was. I couldn't find it, so I sort of gave up on it. I'm like, okay, I'll just use Normalizer because I couldn't find it. I don't know at what point it showed up here on the list because I, I think I would have seen that. I don't know. You let me know where this showed up because I don't remember seeing it, but it's in, It's there now. I'm in 7.3.3 and uh, everything seems to work just fine. For the big show, I was in 7.3.1. Everything worked fine. So look what happens when you click this button. It runs MP3 gain in the background. If we scroll down the list, it's going through each of the songs, and it is normalizing the decibels on these songs. MP3 gain complete. Click close. You're done. Play your show. You add another song in there and you forget which one you added. Just select them all again. Normalize them again. You'll be good again. So this should take a lot of mystery out of this whole being super loud in one song and too soft on another song. So I hope this benefits your shows. I know it will benefit mine. If you have any questions, you let me know. I'm Ron. This has been Monday Minutes. See ya.